Ronnie, this is simple. Drop it, Will! Drop it, you're mad. I'm not mad! You're mad. No, I'm not. I mean, if you want to go to your sister's wedding with your ex-girlfriend, it's not a big deal. She's a friend of my sister's. Uh -huh. I said it was okay. She... Honestly, it's like not a big deal. Because I don't want to go to some stupid wedding where I don't know anybody anyway. Bonnie. Oh, and you just forgot to mention you're going to Vanderbilt? You told me you were going to Columbia. No, I didn't. I told you I was accepted to Columbia. Bonnie, it's complicated, okay? My parents are... It's not a good time. Yet. And what's complicated, Will? It's your life. Go to the college you want to. Look, Will, we don't have to do this. What do you mean? Maybe you should find someone that's more suited to your lifestyle, you know? With her own rich parents, her own perfect mansion. Ronnie, there is nothing perfect about that house. I mean, can you not see that? My parents are holding on by a thread. Perfect. Nothing's been perfect in my family for a long time. I had a brother, Mikey. He died last year. How? Car accident. My mom was driving. Mikey and I were in the back seat, goofing off, playing mercy. We were being idiots. She turned around to tell us to stop, and she lost control of the car. He was killed instantly. It's just so hard to feel happy in that house. It's the only reason I didn't invite you to the wedding. I went out with those girls because I was trying to feel something again. No one has made me feel like you do, Ronnie. I don't want to lose you. On the calendar. Hmm. Ronnie. You lied to me, Dad. Lie. Yes, you did, Dad. You said you were fine. You're not fine. That was a lie. Lie, it's not the same thing. It's hard to be angry. Good. Is that why you brought us here? So you wouldn't have to be alone, Will? Why didn't you tell us? It's not what I wanted this time to be about. Well, it is. It is now, Daddy. This is just another... another part of a terrific summer. Not one of the better parts, I admit. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Daddy. Look at what Chelsea and Brooke did. What's wrong? I, I have to leave, Carter. Leave, leave where? Back to my country. General Kane is forcing my mother into marriage. Your father's never gonna let you go back. He'll never know. Yeah, but I know, and I'm not going to let you go back either. Carter, you have to stay out of this. I have a duty to my people. This is something you'll never understand. I've loved living here in Louisiana. And I wish my life could be like this every day. But this is not reality. Do you think my life as a princess is some kind of fairy tale? This here is a fairy tale. And I could not hide here anymore. Soon I will be queen of Ca Castellina. 
My country needs me. You're right. They do need you. They need you to lead them and to protect them. And that's something you can't do from jail, which is exactly where you'll end up if you go back to Costa Lima. Sam! 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 Oh my god, okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not leaving you here. You have to get out of I am not leaving you here. Your little rich girl thinks she'll stay a while. You filthy, thieving, heartless piece of trash. Trash. You ain't gonna shoot me. Like I said, you don't know me. Like I said, you don't know me. I'm not the same girl from the store that night. She's gone. You took my life and you turned it into a nightmare. And all I have thought about is that I hate you. hate you. Brooke, please don't. Please. I need you, Mom. I hate you so much. You're not worth any more of my time. And you're not worth my life. You have a nice night. <laughs> Seriously? You are egging my house? Well, are you gonna give my dress back to me? The guy at the store told me you had it. Described you down to your bones. So go naked. Think of all the time you're gonna save hooking up with someone else's boyfriend. I wanted to talk, Peyton. Okay, so you said we were never friends, huh? Never meant anything to you? Fine. You want to see something else? Here's a picture of you and Lucas on my birthday. So who's the who's Why do I care? Brooke, this has been one of the worst years of my life. And I needed my best friend more than ever. And you cut me out because I was honest with you. And you were never, ever honest with me. You made fun of my mom's death, Brooke. You knew her. You cried with me when she died. And now you use her as a punchline for a joke to hurt me? It hurt. It did. But not anymore. Because you and me, we're done. You're right, she's dead. And as far as I'm concerned, so are you.